friends. I'm so pleased that today for our Minister's Minute, we're going to be able to share with you a message from Muskan Virk, who is one of the world's youngest published authors and an expert on the subject of gratitude and thanksgiving. She was uh, at our church the Sunday, one Sunday in July, uh, and actually was part of our service sharing with us a message about gratitude and we all so enjoyed meeting her. And they're in town this week and they stopped by our church to, uh, especially she said they came to say thank you, that they uh, really value their friendship and their relationship with Unity of Buffalo and they came to express their thanks and gratitude for our ministry and so we want to pass that message on to, to all of you, our viewers and friends that uh, are part of our wider Unity of Buffalo spiritual community. November is Gratitude Month in Unity. Our Unity Worldwide Movement is focusing on gratitude this month. And I thought, wow, how perfect it is that today, who walked through our doors but our good friend Muskan Virk and her mother Mira. Uh, we met them in July when they came and were part of our Sunday service. Uh, Muskan has written a book called 365 Days of Gratitude. Muskan and her family live in Vancouver, and here we are right in the middle of, of that period of time when Canada celebrates Thanksgiving Day in October, and we're coming up on the celebration of Thanksgiving in our country in November. But of course we know that Thanksgiving is not just a national holiday. It's meant to be a spiritual practice and a spiritual principle that every day we find something to be grateful for and express our thanks. And so I'm so grateful that we're getting a Thanksgiving visit from, our, from Muskan and our friends in, in Vancouver. And uh, they're here this week to be part of an international uh, children's book expo and to share their message about gratitude. And, Muskan, I want to say welcome again, and uh, tell us a little bit about what inspired you to write this book, 365 Days of Gratitude. Um, so when I was six years old, I started looking at everything negatively because I learned about gender inequality. So I started complaining about things, and then I, my mom, she told me to look what's good in the world and see what was good in my world instead of looking about what was bad in the world, and to write every day what I was grateful for in a journal. So after a year and a half, I got 455 things I was grateful for. And then when I took it to my mom, we read it together and we decided to publish it. Wow, more than 400 days, she wrote down something she was grateful for every day. That's quite an inspiration, I think. Yeah, <laughs> we should all make that our practice. So. Gosh, tell me something you're grateful for right now. Well, I'm grateful to be here for my Thanksgiving visit to you guys and um, to be here for the Children's Book Expo in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. And I know that later today you're going to be speaking at a couple of public schools here in Buffalo sharing this message about gratitude. And so we want to wish all of our friends out there that are watching this message, you know, happy Thanksgiving. And let's make this our spiritual practice every day to look around and find the good things in the world that we can be grateful for. Namaste. Bye.